Got a low-end PC with just 2 or 1 GB of RAM, tried Blue Stacks or Nox, and all you got was lag, errors, and your fan screaming. Don't worry, today I'll show you the best emulators for weak systems, light, smooth, and working on old computers. Mimo is classic lightweight emulator, and the older versions are still super useful. The best part about Mimo is the customization. You can set the dedicated RAM to the lowest setting or switch the graphics from DirectX to OpenGL to save resources. This flexibility lets it run even on old PCs from years ago. The only downside is that very old versions may not work with every new app. LD Player is one of the most popular emulators out there. But here's what many people don't know. The older versions are much lighter. For example, LD Player 3 or the Light Edition can run surprisingly well on old systems with low RAM. It also gives you a lot of options to reduce resource. You can lower the resolution or even limit the number of CPU cores it uses. It works great for everyday app like WhatsApp or Instagram. The catch is that heavy games like PUBG or Call of Duty won't run well. Honestly, if you are on a low-end PC, just being able to run apps smoothly is already a win. But they can also be played at slightly lower quality. Droid 4X is one of the oldest and lightest Android emulators ever made. It's barely used resource and runs fine even on PCs with just 1 GB of RAM and weak processors. The only drawback is that development has basically stopped. So it doesn't get updates anymore. But for old computers, it's still one of the best options out there. Prime OS. Now, this one's different. It's not really an emulator. Prime OS is a full operating system based on Android. That means instead of simulating Android inside Windows, it actually installs directly on your hardware. The result? Way faster performance and much lower resource usage. Even old laptops can run it really smoothly. Of course, the downside is that you need to install it, which can be a bit tricky. You'll need a separate partition, and bootable USB. Here's a quick guide. Download it from primeos.in. Select your Windows version and get the ISO file. Number two, making the flash drive bootable. You can use a different programs for this like Rufus. Use a flash drive of the least eight gigabytes. Select PrimeOS and hit start. It may take three or four minutes for you. After it's done, restart your PC. Plug flash drive and open the BIOS. To open the BIOS, you can use the F12 key. If it didn't work, see which key opens your system's BIOS. Go to the boot menu and select your flash drive. Choose the PrimeOS installation version now select a drive and in the next step choose ext4 continue the steps and after rebooting the computer you can log in and have fully android style environment if you want to go back to your windows at startup you can go into the bios and select windows prime os is honestly the best choice for long-term use on weak systems, or if you want to completely transform your old PC into an Android. So those are the best options for running Android on low-end systems, from lightweight versions of LD Player and Mimo to unique picks like Prime OS or Archon that works in completely different ways. If you're mainly into gaming, Game Loop Lite is also worth trying. But if you want to really turn your old PC into Android, then Prime OS is hands down and the best choice. Which one of these works best on your system? 
share your experience in the comments so others can benefit too. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tips and free alternatives to popular software.